Hi there, this is Healthy You brought to you by Food Farm and Konzo. My name is Zizi Oluchi and today in the studio with me is Miss Florence Oyemachi, a woman who's into the business of selling fruits and today we're going to be talking about busting meat on your favorite fruits. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us in the studio Thank today. Thank you so much. You look gorgeous, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, um, my number one question for you today is, what exactly um, sparked your interest into going into the fruit business? Like, what exactly drew your attention into venturing into fruit? Because it's actually, I think it's a rare business for somebody to just wake up one morning and just say, okay, so I I'm actually curious about yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, and it's nice being with you here in the studio. <laughs> You're welcome. To so hear me talk too. about fruits business. Yeah. Although that was not my career in school, <laughs> but I have pleasure in going to those, that business. And since I've been it, I'll be having joy wow. all That's these great. years since I've been back on it. What actually sparked my interest into this business was that mm. along the line, when I was, I find myself that when I was young, I grew up to see my parents, they were farmers. Okay. My, even my grandparents, they were farmers. And we go, during holidays, we go to farm with them. And I see them always take these natural fruits because they have them in their farms. Orange, cherry, mm -hmm. cocoa. They take them on daily basis fresh. Yeah. They don't keep them in the house and be taking them. When they get to farm, they pluck and take it. Instantly. And I see them being heady. And we, the children, we have no other option other than to clue into the system that when we get to the farm, yeah. we it's are used same. to taking fruits yeah. and vegetables on the fresh farm. And so on my course of education in my primary school and secondary school, because I'm a kind of person that is very observant, okay. I discover that when we have a fresh cut in the farm, when, because most time then when we are just when we wake up in the morning, the first thing is to put on your dress and we are going to farm mm -hmm. during holidays. Yeah. So when we, go on, uh, when we are going to farm, especially me, I always have my toes cut <laughs> on the stone because I will be walking while sleep with tea on my eyes. They will say, "Go, we are, it's time to go to farm. We have to get to farm before a seven thirty or eight. We must be in the oh, farm." Really so we always, I'm always having cut on my toes. And they will just, they don't have any other thing to do, they just to look for a uh, kind of plants. I think the one that was common then was this uh, awo lobo. They will just go to it and pluck it, squeeze it, drop the water on the face. Then, before you know it, the face of the soil will get dried and they will not even look for paracetamol and any other thing. Yeah. And we will work with the pain with the leg. When we come back home, they will, the highest they go, they do is that just to use hot water to massage the face. And before you know it, the, this cut will get dried and just go off. Mm -hmm. So when I was observing in my primary school days, I would see some of my classmates, when they also have injuries, some of them, instead of it to go, it will be going wider and it will be leaking water. So I started getting knowledge, personal knowledge that, ah, must be this thing that my parents are taking that we are taking to that is helping us. So when uh, during my science courses in primary school, when they were now teaching us the importance of fruits, how it contributes to the build up of our body, and I'm okay. No wonder my parents and my grandparents are strong mm -hmm. and looking healthy. Even at my parents, uh, grandparents' old age, they can still do much because they are, they have that strength. <sighs> I was wondering, so in my secondary school age, when I now, when they, I have to, have to offer chemistry because mm -hmm. I, like, I love science subjects. So when we, we when I discover some of these fruits are used in production of drugs. Mm -hmm. And this, the end result, they will always use chemicals to, pro, to preserve them. And some of those chemicals are not too good for our consumption. Yeah. So I your faith, there's no time I will not take fruits. To the point I discovered that if my grandparents is having headache, they will just take water. They will say, go and fetch me water from the native pot. Mm -hmm. Then we don't have cooler, we don't have fridge. We have native pots. They will say, fetch me a, a cup of water from the native pot. When they drink the cup of water, they will bath and they will lie down. When they sleep and wake up, they will tell you they are okay. Mm -hmm. So it was then I started gathering that 
fruit is a very good substance for the body. Wow, that's nice. So, um, for how long exactly have you ventured into this business? Have you been into the mm -hmm. fruit business? Uh, the food business, uh, at least, I think it's roughly eight years I've wow. gone into it. Although before these eight years, I've, I've, I, I did not use it as, if, as business. I was just, I would be telling Doing people, it, yeah, even, hey, it, even exactly. some people I have the opportunity to lead. Mm -hmm. When they have issues, I would tell them, take fruit like this, take fruit like this, take this kind of fruit. At times when they have some infection, when they discuss with me, I would, tell, I would just suggest some of those things I know, mm -hmm. of those fruits I know, I would tell them. To help. Yes, to help them, yes. Okay, so, um, secondly, is there anything that you really wish that people knew about fruits? Yeah. Yeah, things people are to know about fruits, which I know, as we discussed on this studio, it will be an opportunity for the viewers to hear from us if they don't know. Okay. Uh, like, for instance, fruits are very good substance to the body. And if in any diet you are taking is rich in fruits, mm -hmm. you will see yourself standing the risk, uh, having you will see yourself that you are uh, you are standing against uh, the risk of being affected by diseases like the heart diseases like cancer even the diabetes itself you will see yourself not being affected easily with all this uh, common disease that is being mentioned everywhere Okay, so speaking of diabetes, mm. people are, are of the opinion that diabetics shouldn't consume fruit. So what exactly is your opinion about that? Uh, from my observation and knowledge, yes, that fact is true to an extent. Okay. But not that diabetic patients cannot take food completely because the system in their body still needs some uh, substance from some kind of fruits that can still boost their immune. And they are not free like people that do not have those challenges. So in that sense, they need to be cautioned when they want to take fruits. And such fruits, most of the diabetic patients, they can take fruits like cucumber, mm -hmm. fruits like um, fruits like uh, Apple, peas, berries, okay. that's to help them. Okay. Uh, they cannot just think of taking a uh, pineapple. Yeah, it's not like they just, just like abstain from yeah, taking fruit. No, 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 no. They cannot just abstain from taking fruits and vegetables because okay. there are some vegetables that they, they will also need to help them reduce that challenge of diabetes in them yeah okay so is there anything you want like people with diabetes like people that have diabetes is there anything you mm -hmm. you actually want them to know about fruits in particular the do's and don'ts and all, and all that um, like a diabetes patient one thing they should know you know most times in this part of the world when we are hungry we can easily take anything when we see, I say, I'm hungry, you see fruits. Mm -hmm. I will just want to take this one to keep myself before I get food. Uh, like me, me and Tamsa, I will do it. When I'm hungry, I get fruits. I will just say, okay, I'm okay with this. But a diabetes a patient cannot do go that. do that. Yeah. Because most of these fruits that are even common around them, is con it contains sugar. Okay. And when they are hungry, their system are very exposed and they are not expected to take in such thing. So they, they no matter the condition of their maybe their taste or their urge, urge for to take fruit, they should be very careful what the kind of fruits they need to take. So they are not to take any kind of fruit. They are not like because when well, you know when you have special cases, you need to be extra careful. Okay. Mm. Okay, so um, in general, are there fruits that shouldn't be taken, like eating together? 
like are there foods that we're not supposed to eat like okay for example are you supposed to um, is it possible for you not to eat pineapple and still take mangoes you, mm, you get, yeah. yeah 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 there are some foods that when you combine them together and you take them it will be harmful to your body to your head okay. uh, they can lead to indigestion and they can even lead to breaking down some of your cells because those fruits are not compatible. Okay. We have, for instance, maybe somebody will just be thinking of taking a, maybe a orange mm -hmm. and a, orange and a carrot. Okay. All right. You see, all those those kind of combinations are not good because orange being citrus is not good to be combined with the fiber. So we have, uh, so there are, there are, there are fruits that cannot be taken together. We also have like maybe taking a gova with a popo. Although you can't combine those fruits together. Okay. There are some fruits that are good in combinations. You can combine, for instance, you can combine cucumber mm -hmm. and pineapple. You can combine pineapple, lemon, and ginger. You can combine watermelon and carrot, but you cannot combine purple and the uh, uh, orange. You cannot combine uh, what is it called? Like some people like doing combining a uh, banana and lemon. They are not too good for it. Okay, so um, just out of curiosity, you know, most times people make fruit smoothie. Yeah, and most people just tend to pack in like different kinds of fruit and blend it up together mm. is there i don't know is, is it any different from you blending and like taking it like eating it mm. well, even people that do um fruit salad yeah. it just tend to do lots of mixture together mm. so my question exactly is is there any difference with when you blend it together and when you just slice it and eat it like like just like that yeah there are more difference okay. in the sense that when you blend fruits and you don't filter mm -hmm. all the structures of that fruit the substance of that fruit are still full in full contents but when you filter the rough edges are out of it and those rough edges at times could be very good for your system especially for metabolism mm -hmm. so that is the reason uh, you see some people they will say they will say blend me fruits don't filter that is smoothie mm -hmm. why some people will say give me fruits like me i go i those fruits salads i combine fruits for people some people will tell me combine these fruits combine these fruits i will tell them i will give you this i will give you this i will not give you this why we say why i will say you can't combine these fruits with all the other fruits so before, as you are, that is why I believe that any business you are going into, mm -hmm. you look at, you look into the negative and the positive. You need to study. Side of it. Yeah, like despite that it was not my area of study, mm -hmm. but I still need to go and study more on my own, do research in order to make sure I'm not harming people. Okay. Uh, yeah. So okay. most of them hockey fruits aside, they may not know because they want to make. The other one is just let me shade this fruit or combine this fruit and give to this person because that is what he demands. But with people that seek for knowledge or seek for the, the importance or the component of those fruits, how they can be combined together, we go a long way to still help you and tell you it's not good or it's good for you. Okay. So are there fruits that, with your knowledge in fruits, mm. are there fruits that you advise us to eat on a regular basis and their nutritional benefit because I believe that most people out there don't even know yeah. the benefits of eating. People just eat fruit because mm. I, I, I'm hungry for yeah. I'm craving to have this fruit. Mm. So are there fruits that you advise for us to eat on a daily basis and mm. exactly what nutrient do they uh, give to us and to our body? Uh, like we all know that we have many fruits that we need to take on daily basis. Uh, but know that knowing one thing at the back of your mind that these fruits, they are not all available at all season. Oh. Uh, 
man. So yes. most of these fruits, when they are in season, and, and it is there, they are cheaper. Because fruit is expensive. And if you want to compare the cost of getting fruit on a daily basis in their good states, they are expensive. So like we, what we do this side of the world is that any fruit that comes in season, as long as it's not harmful to your head, it will not make your head to deteriorate, you go for it then and you take those fruits. We have examples like mango. The mango is just just creeping mm -hmm. out now. Yeah, it was season. about the, the two ice. months ago, it was on season. And there's time for cherry. Then towards the end of the year, you have cherry. Mm -hmm. We have time for carrots. We have time That's for different. And when these fruits are available, I think throughout the whole year, you the, the, the fruits have their seasons. Uh, so we go in for it and we we take them on daily basis. And when we take this fruit on daily basis, one of the uh, benefits to us is, is that we should know that these fruits will help us to grow, to develop immune in our system. That will help us fight bacteria. It will help us fight bacteria that would be in, that would have been injury to our own system, our own mm -hmm. structure. Mm -hmm. And it will also enable the when you continue taking fruits on daily basis, it helps you to grow some uh, enzymes in your system or some bacteria in your system that will fight against diseases like cancer, yeah. like even the diabetes we are talking about. Okay. Um, so, um, quickly, um, antioxidants help fight um, free radicals in the body that causes diseases. Yeah. So what fruit would you say contains antioxidants? Some of those uh, antioxidant uh, fruits, I uh, see we have fruits like berries. Okay. We have fruits like uh, lemon. Yeah. Lemon particularly will help to fight against diseases in the heart. All those diseases that would have mm -hmm. lodged around the heart. Uh, yeah. When you take lemon, either in, when you squeeze it to your drink or you boil it to take, it goes a long way to help. And even apple. Okay. Apple is very good too. It's yeah. one of those fruits, like things like vegetables, like tomatoes. It's also antioxidant uh, fruit that we also help us okay and um, do you have any health story that you wish to share with us today and um, in the studio of course i have a lot of health stories okay. being that right from my childhood <laughs> i've been observing a i've been I've, I've observing issue of fruits to the point that i decided to go into it for a business okay uh, I, I like in me, I hardly forsake. And when I go down, I know the next thing to take a form of fruit because, like me, I don't like drugs. I have fruits, we have fruits of different categories that when you combine them, mm -hmm. like for instance, now somebody is having infection. If you br bring lemon, you bring ginger, turmeric. And in the, in, in, when you know the proportion, you need to take it. Mm -hmm. And it will go a long way in helping, in helping yeah. you. Then, so I, I love all my days before this time, up till now, I, even when I don't have appetite to eat, I know what food to take mm -hmm. that will oh, open oh, up my. Stomach. Yeah. So the only thing, the challenge I have is uh, malaria because we cannot, there's no way you can be absent from malaria mm -hmm. as long as, like a doctor told me. Uh, I said, what can I do not to be having malaria at all? He said, except you leave this country. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. I said, is, it, is that possible for me to live just like that? Okay. So, so um, lastly, yeah. before I let you go. So um, where do you exactly see your business in, let's say, five years from now? Like where do you see yourself in your business? Mm -hmm. By the grace of God, I know that I have a long, I have, I still have a greater expectation, yeah. which I will need to attain. Even myself sitting down before you today, 
four five years ago i never knew i would sit down in a place yeah. talking about fruits, about fruits exactly. people more educated than i they come to me people that i fed that they, they that i don't even expect they come to me they come and seek knowledge mama please what should i take uh, this 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 and i will help in suggesting so i believe i have a greater a greater <laughs> high to go in respect of this uh, business thank you. Uh, thank you so much ma thank you for thank your you. time and thank you for the knowledge <laughs> most you. especially thank you so much thank you so much. really appreciate it. thank you so um we've come to the end of today's show goodbye and see you next time Thank you.